see up on Bluebird Hill. Hmm, Jerry's Flamenco Dancer. Let me see. Let me think back in my Grateful Dead history. Uh, see if you can think, uh, have you ever seen Flamenco Dancer performed by the Grateful Dead? That must be a pretty rare one. Uh, but no, you wouldn't have seen it because it's not a song. Jerry's Flamenco Dancer is an awesome silkscreen lithograph print uh, of a drawing that he made in 1991. And I was lucky enough uh, to be at a gallery where he was personally doing a showing uh, on Spring Street in Soho, lived in New York City at the time. Uh, myself, Lauren, uh, Zach Brettler, I think Danny Cott was there at the time, uh, possibly Matt Bohm. This art showing of Jerry's art. Now, Jerry went to school for art before he started playing music. Uh, and of course went in the other direction, but he picked up drawing and painting, um, you know, many years later. And although he became a, a, a pretty big enthusiast, um, it wasn't until 1990 that he was convinced by some people around him to get his works out there. And it was during their March 1993 tour. Uh, it, was the, it was the tour at Madison Square Garden where they did a bunch of Rex Foundation shows. Uh, they were pretty, all pretty decent shows. And um, Jerry was in town and they opened up uh, one of the galleries in Soho and it was amazing. And um, there were v lots of pictures all around. And I decided to pick one that I really liked because it had to do with music and you know Jerry's, Jerry's love for Latin music growing up. And, the piece that I had purchased that day, and I'm so glad, actually it was purchased for me by all my friends um, that I had mentioned to you before for my birthday. And that was 25 years ago. Uh, Jerry signed it himself personally in pencil. I've had it and you could see it over my shoulder right there. It is hung in every single apartment or house that I've lived in um, since. It was purchased in 1993. And I really have not looked up much of the history of it or uh, had I looked to see what it would be worth or, or anything like that. I've kind of just, it just remains in my house. Just, it's the Jerry, you know, a piece of um, history that I've had that means so much to me and I love it. It was an, there's an opportunity to go and see an art opening of Jerry Garcia's works, some of their works that, that he had made very similar to the one that I went to. Of course, it was 25 years ago. So um, it wasn't just Jerry's stuff. They're, they had a lot of um, Grateful Dead memorabilia and other things to see. So it was, it, was, it was a pretty cool thing. But what I did know is that they had a copy of Flamenco Dancer. And I wanted to go out there at first, I wanted to learn about when and how they got it, where they got it. It's one of 300. I wanted to learn about some of the, um, how they know that that was really signed by Jerry Garcia, what year it was, it was purchased because they were being sold after he died in 1995. All 300 were not bought up since 1993. Jerry Garcia only signed his prints uh, in person, one at a time after they were purchased. He, it was long known that Jerry Garcia did not like signing his signature to hundreds and hundreds of things at once. Uh, it was something he decided he would never do. And that if he would ever sell his artworks, in which he did in those years between 1990 and 1994, it would only be if he was at the, um, at the showing himself or in town um, playing shows uh, during that week so you they could be bought taken off the wall without his signature and have him sign them number them and label them in pencil so I was very intrigued to see and and find the history behind my Jerry and so that's what I'm gonna take you through today let's see how my day went on my adventure to the gallery to find my answers 
Oh, man, what a great day in Greenwich, Connecticut. I'm so excited to be out and about. Freaking awesome day today. I'm about to go in and check out this really cool gallery of Garcia and Grateful Dead from the Billion Paintings. I'm really psyched. Let's go check it out. I got to go to the showing of the Garcia and Grateful Dead art show on Greenwich Avenue, and it's really, really cool. Look what I found. I found a picture of my painting that I own. I bought in 1993, and what's really cool about it is they're selling it for $3,150, and you see this stamp right here? What this stamp here means that it wasn't signed by him, and it really means that and any of these pictures that you see that have a stamp on them were sold after he died. But when I saw him in the Soho showing in 1993, they were only, they were hand signed by him act as um, they were sold. And there were no stamps, so there's no stamp on mine. So this is still only one of 300 paintings, but I have one of even a much less than that but that were real, really signed by him. So I'm really excited, this is so cool. It was a really cool exhibit. They had a lot of great stuff there. Here's Jerry's briefcase. Uh, this picture here with the uh, water and the mountains in the background of the beach, that's one my friend Zach Brettler bought uh, at the exact same time. A uh, bunch of other really cool pieces of art and film, uh, a lot of great photographs, and uh, it really was a fun time. I really um, hope that if uh, anyone was around, they did go to get a chance to go out and see it. Also had a really cool book there that was really the Bible all of everything that Jerry had painted um, through the years. And uh, it's a really thick, amazing table book, probably really expensive. But uh, I was able to get the history of the painting. Um, there was a lot of discrepancies about what year he actually painted it. Um, some said 91, some said 92 and 93. Um, I know for a fact that it was 93 um, that um, was the year that I got it and it was signed. Um, there, in that book, it also showed how you can tell uh, if they're real, if there are labels or, or prints on them, etchings, um, you could, that you can tell what, depending on which etching it is, that's what um, period in time after his death that, um, that they were made available. Well, mine was actually done by him in pencil. I'm really excited because it's worth probably twice as much as they're selling it at the gallery. But I would never sell it in a million years. But thanks for joining me on this journey to find out the history of my Jerry, my flamenco dancer. Have a great day, everybody. Talk to you soon. Hey, so we're back at my apartment now after going to see that in that Grateful Dead and Jerry Garcia art exhibit. And we're back here and I just wanted to give a quick showing of my original Jerry, which is numbered 89 of 300, where Jerry actually signed it in pencil himself. It has no other impressions or prints or anything stone marks. Um, so it was actually really signed by him, uh, which, which ups the value, but it was really cool. But I love my painting and I'll never get rid of it. Ah, hope you guys like it too.